Hey guys, welcome back to another dev update. A lot of things to uh, go over today. We've been made a lot of updates on the code today and excited to show them to you. I first want to start out by thanking all the people who checked out my first developer update yesterday and to the three new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Really appreciate the support and if you're new here, Please uh, consider subscribing and uh, liking the channel to help other people that are looking for this type of con content uh, find me. Uh, now, I'll, today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm still trying to figure out the format of these, but uh, I think what my plan will be is go over what I changed uh, as best I can visually and maybe somewhat code wise and then uh, if you guys want to see something specific after you see me uh, go over it in the video I'm gonna suggest to leave a comment below on what exactly you'd like to see if you want me to dig into a certain bit of code so you can see how it works then I can do like a separate code review kinda specifically of how that stuff works so if you want to see like how a projectile works how the movement specifically works how the cameras work how an this this new orbiting cross spell works uh the health bars all that kind of stuff but uh lots of big changes i'm gonna pull up the game and uh uh pause it because i have the ability to do that now so i have a lot i got so much stuff done today it's crazy so i have the pause menu done uh like ready but not done like i have to put in all the stats and kind of show what spells and the stats of them uh, that are active in there, so, but but that's working and it's pausing, so that's good. I have to like start a home button. I have to do a home screen, uh, but none of that stuff is important right now because when I get down to doing that, I'll be able to do it quickly. Um, like I said, the the most important stuff to me right now is the core gameplay uh, and like getting most of that set up, and then I'm gonna refine the art the screens and then hopefully launch but uh as you can see a lot of things have changed uh we now have hit animations we have the bullets uh doing damage to the enemies and destroying them uh a new spell which is a this is kind of it's not maxed out but it's pretty powerful it's not like stage one it's a couple stages deep just kind of to show uh what it does it's like a rotating cross but and the projectiles can go up from one to too. and this isn't done it's kind of early and you can see it's like not fully centered and could use some help but kind of kind of what I'm thinking uh, if you saw there we have a timer uh, we have a health bar we have an experience bar and we have a counter and runes that drop when you kill an enemy now so I'll kind of go back in and restart so you can see uh, now when the enemy dies there's a percentage chance for a rune to drop and uh, there's a luck uh, factor on the player that will be you'll be able to increase as you level up and gain items that could give you more drops and stuff like that. And of course, there'll be like a shop uh, at the end of the level. Uh, that's the plan. I, I, I'm not gonna go for like the vampire survivors things. I'm gonna kind of lean more towards the brotato style of things where. If you beat around, uh, there's some shops and uh, level up rewards and stuff like that. I really like that mode, so uh, that's kind of what I'm going to be shooting uh, for in that kind of gameplay uh, inspiration. But yeah, I mean, you can see a lot is has is coming together right now. Uh, I actually improved the pentagrams just <laughs> because uh, with like and added some bloom effects to stuff. I don't know if I'm going to keep the runes, but you can kind of see. Uh, and, and of course, like the map is not completed yet and uh, you're only seeing this one screen so he can go off, right? Instead of it moving with you, the camera following you, which eventually the camera will follow you and you'll be traveling around and I'll probably make some obstacles and stuff like that as well. And uh, another thing I don't know if I'm going to do or not is have it be infinite scroll or not. I haven't decided. Uh, that, that's another thing. Why don't you guys let me know what you think uh, in terms of that too in the in the comments. I'm, I'd be curious to hear what you think about that. But overall, like this is just day two progress, so I'm pretty pretty stoked on where it's at so far like it's still like i said very rudimentary very simple 
and uh, it's going to take time to polish stuff, but it's it's cool to kind of start seeing things pop in, right? So I think my thought is to, I have two kind of really simple spells now, and I think I'll start building out uh, the, the GUI and stuff next, and <clears throat> making sure all the player stats uh, are like how I'm going to do that system and make sure that they're working in with the spells. And then it should be easy for me to add, you know, a few new spells and uh, unlocks as we go. But actually, I even got the text in. Let me know. <laughs> it's all kind of, it's starting to feel like the style I'm looking for. So I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, excited to kind of keep you guys updated. This will probably be the last update for this week, but hopefully I'll have more to show you next week on any updates I get done there. But once again, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to uh, keep up to date with what I'm working on. And, yeah, still no name on this project. Uh, I'll be thinking of it. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, you can put them down below too. But uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.